Welcome. So here we go. What I want to do is show you uh, how to find the vertex and the x-intercepts of uh, this quadratic, f of x equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 1. So there's a couple big missteps that students make with this problem. I'm going to try to work through it very quickly and really highlight the steps that students get a mistake on. So the first thing, f of x equals uh, negative x squared plus 4x plus 1. When Coach Uden, please call me office. Coach Uden, please call me office. Sorry, happens all the time. That's what you get for doing videos out of school. So what we have here, the first thing I want to do is make sure it's in uh, as definition of a quadratic, which is over here, which it is. The next thing I'm going to do is I need to create it as a uh, perfect square. Tr I need to create it in standard form. To do that, I'm going to use the process of completing the square. Before I can complete the square, I have to make sure that the coefficient of my squared variable, which is my x squared, is 1. Right now, I have it as negative 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide out a negative 1, which I'm just going to represent as the negative sign. So I'm just dividing out my negative 1. That's going to leave me with x squared minus 4x plus 1. I only want to divide out of my first two terms because that's what I'm going to use to create my perfect square trinomial. You might ask, what's a perfect square trinomial? Remember, a perfect square trinomial looks something like this. All right, It's a perfect square trinomial because when I factor this, I get x minus 3 times x minus 3, which is x minus 3 squared. And what's so important about a perfect square trinomial is we go from two variables down to one. So it's a way of combining variables. So what I need to do is I need to look at how am I going to create this to be a perfect square trinomial. The process for that is to take b divided by 2 and square it. So I need to look at this. And remember, b is your coefficient of your linear term. So I take my b, which is negative 4, divided by 2 and square it. Negative 4 divided by 2 squared. Do you know you can upload both of them? Yeah, but it's still processing. Okay. Negative 4 divided by 2 squared. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Square it is going to be 4. So therefore, I have x equals negative x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now remember, whenever you add 4, I write this is an equation. So if I add 4, I have to make sure I subtract 4. Right? We've got to keep our equation balanced. But remember, we, we distributed out a negative 1. So I've got to remember that negative 1 is multiplying by every term inside of here. So I'm multiplying a negative 1 times 4. So to keep my equation still balanced, I need to mul multiply this negative 4 times a negative 1. All right. So then, oops. So then, now I have negative, and I can complete this. Oh, and then plus 1 at the end, right? OK, forgot that. Don't want to forget that. So now I need to write this as, a, uh, as my perfect uh, square binomial. So I can rewrite this and look at it. It says, all right, that's x minus 2 squared. Negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. Positive 4 plus 1 is 5. All right, so now it's in my standard form. And when it's in the standard form, I know the vertex is h comma k. So here, my vertex is going to be positive 2 comma 5. If you remember, look at the vertex form. It's h in my. And the, my vertex and what it is in the formula are opposite signs. So I got to make sure that I have opposite signs over here as well. So my vertex is 2 comma 5. The next thing I need to do is find the intercepts. Remember the, f, the x intercepts are when f of x equals 0. So to do that, I'm just going to simply put a 0 in for f of x and have it equal negative x times x minus 2 squared plus 5. So now what I can do, ah. Uh, so now what I can do is solve for my x. So the first thing we want to do is subtract 5 on both sides. Negative 5 equals negative x minus 2 squared. Divide out the negative 1. And then I'm left with 5 equals x minus 2 squared. Now to undo my squaring, I'm going to square root both sides. And I'm left with the square root of 5 equals x minus 2. And remember, when you introduce the square root, we have to take the positive and the negative. So I'm going to add 2 over here. And my final x-intercepts are going to be x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope you loved it. Subscribe, ask comments. Thanks for watching.
stupid.